In this video, we're going to solve the equation, the fourth root of 3x plus 6 equals negative 3 for x. To get rid of a fourth root, or any type of root, we need to use an exponent. The opposite of a fourth root is a fourth power, and so we will take both sides to the fourth power. But before we do, we notice that the index we're getting rid of is even. Whenever we're getting rid of an even index, we must make sure we check the final solution. With that in mind, let's continue. Fourth power and fourth root clears, leaving us with 3x plus 6 equals negative 3 to the fourth is 81. And then solving the two-step equation, subtracting 6 from both sides gives us 3x equals 75. And finally, dividing both sides by 3 will give us our final answer of x equals 25. Oops, but before we say that's our final answer, we still need to go back and check by replacing the x in the equation with the 25 that we found and seeing if it really does equal negative 3. So we have the fourth root of 3x, which we found to be 25, plus 6. Hopefully, that will equal negative 3. 3 times 25 is 75, and so we have the fourth root of 75 plus 6. Hopefully, that'll be negative 3. 75 plus 6, that's going to be 81. Hopefully, that's negative 3. And the fourth root of 81 is 3. Is that equal to negative 3? It is not equal to negative 3. It's close, but close only matters in horseshoes, scud missiles, and slow dancing, and hand grenades, not in math. This means that the answer of 25, though it came out algebraically, is actually a false solution for the equation we were attempting to solve. The math phrase for this is an extraneous solution, and we have to throw this solution out. As there are no solutions left, we will say there are no solutions to the equation, the fourth root of 3x plus 6 equals negative 3. Again, to solve an equation with a radical, we use an exponent. If the radical has an even index that we are getting rid of, we will make sure we check the answer in the original equation, in case it comes out, as this one did, to an extraneous solution. 